This is not a message for everyone. This is a transmission for the star seeds, for those of you who know or suspect that you are something different, something unusual, not of this place. These are the messages for you that I, as the host of the Max Ante, are bringing to you. Don't expect anything here to make a lot of sense. Everything is entirely paradoxical and is for you to interpret and for you to discern what is true. Seven steps to living life fully. So we've gone through six steps so far and it's a radically enormous epic journey to go across all seven of these. We've started off with you being grounded in your body, with being fully empowered in the world, in human society. That's the first step. And each of these steps is a world unto themselves. You could spend your whole life just there, just exploring, like for years or decades. There's nothing, there's nothing more important about another step. I, I've said that I think the first three steps are, are very important. And so that's what I'm recommending people to go. Uh, and unfortunately, from my point of view, seeing the world meeting people, it seems like, you know, 90% of people or more have not gone through these first three steps of empowering themselves fully in the world, of being in their body, being grounded, of understanding that this is nothing to be taken too seriously, to be much lighter about life, to be enjoying all of this because you're realizing it's just a tour, a temporary tour here in the world for a short while as a second step. And then the third step of being orientated towards joy, of, ex of testing every experience, everything in the world against that as your guiding star, as your true north of being, of being orientated towards joy and, just, uh, and giving yourself permission to ongoingly experience that. And the fourth step of now that you've filled yourself with joy, now you're going to share that. That's going to be after you have experienced joy. That's the fifth step. Oh, sorry, the fourth step. The fifth step of course, is the awakening. So if you haven't listened to these, I'm recommending you go back and listen to those episodes because the fifth step is, is a radical departure from the other four. The other four are about basically being a normal human, being in the world, being an empowered human. The fifth step is where you start, where you move way beyond that. That's where you basically tear through the fabric of reality. You cross beyond what people consider to be normal you move beyond what it is to be a human the fifth step is the awakening process and the sixth step is the sharing of that if somebody felt so inclined if, if there was an inner push or a message received or a transmission received to then share that process with the world that's where the sixth step would be so what could possibly be the seventh step I've been wondering that too and so the the six steps were revealed to me gradually over time the transmissions were coming through as they explained them to me and it was only very recently that they shared what this seventh step would be and i'd been contemplating it for quite a while and i would already had a number of experiences that were inside this seventh step and so it had actually become alive and real for me i knew i've known that this seventh step is real and is a possibility that's what all of these are. All of these seven steps are possibilities to be lived, to be fully lived in the world, that all of this is entirely possible, that you can become anything. It is the total experience of, of a radical transformation where anything is possible, truly anything. You can become anything in the world that you imagine. Anything here can be experienced. And that's what this seventh step is. This seventh step may sound completely ridiculous and radical, but the seventh step is about becoming a magical being, completely magical. This is where there is no distinction between you and the world because you realize that there is no truth to yourself. You've, tr you've transformed everything. You've transcended the very nature of reality. You've become entirely magical. The world is magical and now you are magical. You can literally do anything. <laughs> so it is beyond the normal dimensions. And maybe this is what would actually happen for an awakened being at their death. So perhaps even the seventh step is the death process. 
maybe at that moment when the transformation happens, where there is the leaving of the body, then maybe that's when you become a magical being. So this seventh step could actually be inbuilt into life itself as you move through the process of being a human and being in a body for maybe roughly a hundred years then maybe that's what happens at the end. You just naturally become a magical being. I can't, I can't point to that. I can't say that for certain. One other curious factor of being a magical being is not necessarily even having the restrictions upon life in the way that normal humans have. So the idea of like living to 100 or maybe even 120, which people seem to take as the maximum, perhaps all of that is even up for grabs. So when we talk about age and life and how long you've got here. That's all for like the normal human experience. But once you've transcended that and moved into the magical realm, when you've become a magical being, then potentially anything is possible. And so that's something just to consider, something to imagine and to see. Well, you'd have to go there first. You'd have to go through all the steps and see what happened because this is entirely beyond what any of us can really point to. However, I know people who have met these kind of magical people and some of them they've told me are many hundreds of years old I'm not asking you to believe it but something to consider so in this magical experience in this magical transformation where now you are a magical being basically all those things that everybody say are impossible that's what starts to become available now this is a pretty radically huge topic it's not something that can really be explained. It's not something where there is a simple, you know, seven step process, just go do this and now you're a magical being. <laughs> uh, this is just the description. All that these seven steps are that I've described are descriptions of a process of beginning as an ordinary human in the world with your, with just trying to have ordinary capabilities of being effective of being empowered, of being successful uh, with one's relationships and one's health and one's finances. And it begins like that, very baseline, very ordinary. And most people would, they would just love for that to be their experience. They would just say, oh yes, please, can I just have that? So we're talking about a process that takes you from being a very ordinary human all the way through to being awakened and then beyond that to being a completely magical being that's what calls to your heart if you feel the urge and the inner desire to fully move through this process and go all the way keep on moving all the way can this really be experienced is it possible to become entirely magical is it possible to experience the world as completely magical is there any di distinction between the two I am the world the world is me Self is the world. The world is self. That's why there is no truth to the self. And so now, with this step, everything is transformed. It's beyond language now. That's why these are the seven steps. Beyond this, it's hard to describe anything because now magic is beyond description. And so if you've been inspired by listening to these seven steps, then thank you for coming on this journey. Further episodes are going to be breaking down a lot of what we've talked about. This is an overview of the process of what it's going to take to transform your world to whatever extent you want to, you want to do whatever is inspiring to you. Here is the roadmap. Here is a blueprint for a complete transformation of you in this world. I'm looking forward to sharing more with you in future episodes.